welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare routine for you. Basically it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to be showing you guys what products I use to keep my face pretty clear for the most part. Um, obviously we all have our days or our months and um, my time of month just passed if you know what I mean. So my skin is not the best right now. Can't really tell under the makeup but I promise you it is not the best right now. Alright, sorry about that. I had to switch up the angle. Um, I'm having some technical difficulties. My other camera just died. So we're using a big one, but it won't sit up where I need it to sit up. So we're doing a makeshift. Please ignore the messy room behind me. Wow, I should have been more prepared. Um, this is anywhere from face cleansers to, to moisturizers to what I use to wash my face with. And so, yeah, just keep on watching if you would like to know. So the first thing that I like to do of a night to take, take most of my makeup off is use makeup remover wipes. I actually use a lot of different ones each time I get new ones I feel like, but I usually go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and get one of theirs because they're pretty cheap and they do the job. So these are the ones I'm currently using. They're just these Olivia Grace charcoal facial wipes and they're infused with replenishing charcoal and vitamin E. So I don't know, they're just, I liked the packaging and they take your makeup off. So. I like those. Some of the ones from I feel like grocery stores like Target and all this stuff, some of them are good but some of them have a lot of like chemicals in it that really burn your skin that I don't recommend. So so after I remove my makeup with that, I will go in with some micellar water. So this is just the Pacifica Cactus Water Micellar Water. So I just go on a cotton pad and I will just remove this off of my face to get any excess makeup off. On my lazy days, this is all that I'll do to take my makeup off. But for the most part, I will do a full-on skincare routine because I like my skin being really clean. When I go in the shower is when I wash my face. I'm currently using this face wash. It is just this Come Clean Creamy Cleanser and it's made with cucumber and spearmint and antioxidant green tea extract. Yeah, I don't know. It's just this random face wash that I got at TJ Maxx. And I like it, it smells really good, it feels really good on your face, and it gets your makeup off, so. And it doesn't have a lot of chemicals in it, so I like that. And what I'm really excited to talk to you guys about is what I take my makeup off with and to cleanse my face and other parts of my body. Um, so I take this little thing right here, which is the Duval, which is this right here. So this is the Duval Radiance Skincare System. This is what I use to take my makeup off with. It's basically a spin brush for your face. And so this one actually came with multiple attachments that you can put on to give yourself a deeper clean. So the one that I have on right now that I've been using is just the Gentle Cleanser. So it's a little bit dirty, if you could tell, because I've been using it a lot. Um, and then you basically just hit this little button and it goes. It's really nice. Um, it gives a really good clean. So this right here is just, like I said, just the normal cleanser to get, which I use to get all my makeup off. If I want to go in for a deeper clean, I have an exfoliator right here, which I use, which is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. And I'll use this about once a week to just get all the excess um, dirt and skin off of my face and what's really cool about this system is that it comes with a little exfoliator attachment and it's easy you just pop it off like that and then you just attach it like that so this is the exfoliating one so I will just go and exfoliate my face with this one the bristles are a little thicker and more um, dense so it gives it a really good clean another cool thing about this brush set is that it comes with a body scrubber so this on and you just put some body scrub on here or body wash and just buff it in your skin with this which is really nice and handy because it's this huge brush so you can get it anywhere it needs to be and it works really good into your skin. After I come out of the shower using this I can just it's super soft and I just love it. And the last little attachment it comes with is a pumice stone. So this, like anything else, you just attach this on. So for the pumice stone one, basically what you'll do, um, you want to immerse your feet into warm water before you use this for about 10 to 15 minutes. So soak your feet for 10 to 15 minutes before you're going to use this. That way it's easier to get all the dead skin off. And you're basically just going to rub this in circular motions and it'll get all the dead skin off of your feet or your elbows or any rough areas on your, on your body. I have some rough skin on my feet so this is really handy and gets all that off if you guys want to get your hands on one of these things which I really recommend because it honestly gives such a deep clean and it's really nice and it's actually not expensive if you guys want 70% off of it, either this or any other skincare tools um, from the Duval site all you'll need to do is go down in the description and click that link and you'll get 70% off to get this brush for I believe $28 or $30 or something like that. A really good deal. So I think you guys should go get your hands on it. I love it. I use it every single day and I'm not going back. And you literally just turn this right here. 
Okay. Turn this right here. So, and then to change the batteries, you just take that little bottom part off, put it in here, and then put the cap back on, and you're good to go. So those are all the products that I use to get the makeup off my face and to really cleanse my skin. After the makeup is off, it depends if it's night or daytime. If it is at nighttime, I will go in with just a moisturizer. Um, I have been using this one recently. It's the Garnier Skin Active Hydrating moisturizer I don't know it looks like this it's basically you can use it as either a mask or it's a three-in-one actually a day night and mask so day moisturizer night moisturizer or a mask and I've used all three of them I like using it for nighttime it's very moisturizing so it's a good thing to have on your skin while you're sleeping and then you wake up and it's nice and soft if I wash my face in the morning what I like to do is use these drops and these are just um, Valgene Labs revive vitamin C and peptides Day serum. I got this at like T I think I got this at TJ Maxx also. Um, they have really good stuff there that's really inexpensive, so I recommend you go there. But yeah, I just use a few drops of that, and then I will use this uh, moisturizer, which is Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating um, Moisturizer. Yeah, and this is by Shea Moisture, so it just looks like this. Um, this one is just a lighter moisturizer that I like in the for the daytime. And the last little product that I'll show you guys is actually not even it's not even technically anything that like cleans your skin skin, but it does feel very good. And I put this on before I go to bed. And this is the St. Ives Face Mist, and this is a lavender. And you just spritz this on your face before you go to bed, and it's a nice calming scent, and it feels really nice. So had to throw that in there. So those are all the products that I use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got any helpful tips um, on what products you might want to use. I do have combination skin, so everything that I use here goes along with that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.